Today, July 26, the memorial of Saints Anne and Joachim, parents of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Saints Anne and Joachim, the parents of the Virgin Mary, according to the tradition derived from certain apocryphal writings. Saint Anne is one of the patron saints of Brittany and Canada and of women in labor. As the grandparents of Jesus, Saint Anne and Joachim are also considered the patron saints of grandparents. The traditional account and legends Information concerning their lives and names is found in the 2nd century Protevangelium of James and the 3rd century Evangelium di Nativitate Mariae, the Gospel of the Nativity of Mary. According to these non-canonical sources, Anne, Hannah in Hebrew, was born in Bethlehem in Judea. She married to Joachim, and although they shared a wealthy and devout life at Nazareth, they eventually lamented their childlessness. Joachim, reproached at the temple for his, for his sterility, retreated into the countryside to pray, while Anne, grieved by his disappearance and by her barrenness, solemnly promised to God that if given a child, she would dedicate it to the Lord's service. Both received the vision of an angel who announced that Anne would conceive and bear a most wonderful child. The couple rejoiced at the birth of their daughter, whom Anne named Mary. When the child was three years old, Joachim and Anne, in fulfillment to her divine promise, brought Mary to the temple of Jerusalem, where they left her to be brought up. The account of their lives startlingly parallels the Old Testament story of the barren Hannah and her conception of Samuel. She also dedicated her child to the service of God. Anne's cult was fervent in the Eastern Church as early as 4th century, and many churches, the first dating from 6th century, were built in her honor. In the early 8th century, Pope Constantine probably introduced her devotion to Rome, while Joachim's cult was introduced in the West in the 15th century. Anne became extremely popular in the Middle Ages and influenced such theologians as Jean de Garçon, Conrad Wimpinar, and Johann Eck. In response to attacks on her cult by Protestant reformers, devotion to Saint Anne was further promoted by post-Reformation popes.